Good morning, friends. My name is Jason Sisk Provencio, and I'm the pastor at the United Church of Christ Congregational of San Luis Obispo on Los Osos Valley Road. And I'm here on this Sunday morning with a peace nugget. And it is cooler this morning. Um, thank God. The past two days were a little exhausting. Um, so I hope everyone is enjoying the cooler weather. This morning I'm going to be reading from the Common Prayer Liturgy for Ordinary Radicals. And uh, October 4th uh, is about St. Francis. I believe it's St. Francis' birthday. So Shane Claiborne shares a little bit about the life of St. Francis. He says, Francis was born to a merchant family in the Italian city of Assisi. As a young man, he was attracted to adventure and moved by romantic tales of knights. When he himself became a knight, Francis met a leper while riding through the countryside. Overwhelmed by a divine impulse, Francis dismounted his horse, shared his coat with the leper, and kissed the man's diseased face. Captivated by the experience, Francis began to reimagine his life in light of the gospel, renouncing his selfish desires and his father's wealth. I see a good morning from Kay. Good morning, Kay. Welcome. A beggar for Christ's sake, Francis inspired thousands to walk away from worldly success and join his movement of friars who sought to renew the church in their day. And Francis lived from 1182 to 1226. I didn't realize that he was uh, only 44 when he passed. That is so young. Life is just getting started at 44. While praying before a crucifix in the dilapidated chapel of San Damiano, Francis of Assisi heard a voice speak to him. Francis, repair my church, which has fallen into disrepair, as you can see. And Shane Claiborne offers this prayer. Lord, your church is such that when one member of the body fails, the whole body suffers. Help us encourage one another in faith so that working together, we might become a unified body that goes forth into the world to proclaim good news. Amen. I see a couple more good mornings from Susan and from Sammy. Good morning. It is so good to uh, see you and um, so good to be together uh, in spirit. Um, I wanted to just share a brief reflection about, you know, faith. Um, it wasn't St. Francis' uh, thoughts or ideas that changed when he reimagined his life. It was his attitude toward others. It was unconditional love, um, unconditional love of a leper that really started this. And, you know, so often nowadays, faith has become associated with what we believe, what we think, like it's a head word. But it's actually a heart word. Another translation for uh, pisteo, which means um, I have faith, is I uh, have loyalty or I trust. Um, so faith is really a heart word. And when we when we're struck uh, by God's love and, and we um, are moved by faith, it changes the way that we love and live. It's not necessarily the way that we think, although that's um, a byproduct of changing the way that we live, sometimes changes the way that we think. But it's easier to do it that way than the opposite. Changing the way we think doesn't always change the way we live, but changing the way we live changes the way that we think. I see one more good morning from Nadine. Nadine, good morning. I think that's a kitty cat emoji. Thank you for that. God's beloved, uh, we're going to have church in about an hour and a half. It's World Communion Sunday, so we'll remember that we are connected with all other forms of life. Uh, like St. Francis, um, we are connected with all of creation. We are all uh, sisters and brothers. We're all siblings with all life. So let's celebrate that today. I hope to see you at 1030. I love you. I miss you. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.